afternoon, everyone, and welcome to all those who are watching us on live stream uh, of this policing board for July. We are meeting to receive and question the chief constable on his report, and the chief and his team are all welcome to uh, today's meeting. Uh, I want to begin by uh, recording the board's condolences to the family of uh, Noah Donahue. Uh, as we've all been touched by the tragic death, he's captured our hearts as a young man of exceptional talents and attributes. And as we listened to the detail of the funeral uh, just earlier in the week, it, uh, it's impossible to imagine the pain that the family are going through, but our thoughts and prayers are certainly with them uh, at this time. I'd like to record thanks to uh, PSNI for their work around that and indeed to the volunteers in the Community Rescue Service and all who provided assistance uh, with regard to the search. Policing relies greatly on community assistance to deal and respond to all types of policing issues. And it's important to recognize that even in that, even in the most uh, tragic of circumstances. Um, uh, we've also been reminded again since we last met of the dangers of policing, um, particularly with the, the passing in the Republic of Detective Garda, Colm Horkin. I have written specifically on behalf of the board uh, to Drew Harrison and to uh, the guards with regard to that. But we, I take this chance again to record our thanks to all of those who put their lives on the line in stepping up to keep the rest of us uh, safe. COVID-19 still continues to be at the forefront of all that goes on and certainly having a big impact uh, on policing. Uh, and the policing over the last number of weeks, particularly at the large gatherings, has drawn significant attention and commentary. There are, of course, further relaxations and easements coming over the next number of days, as we would expect. And there are a number of questions, as you will expect, uh, in relation to police operations past and future, which we will cover uh, within this board. Since our last meeting, in addition to the review being conducted by our own uh, human rights advisor, the police ombudsman has also initiated a review uh, I have met personally with the police ombudsman to discuss the terms of reference for the investigation announced. Uh, the uh, ombudsman's investigation, along with the review currently being progressed uh, uh, by ourselves, are both important for confidence in our policing service and evidence the robustness of the oversight arrangements that are in place here. To avoid duplication, we have agreed that there will be liaison between our respective offices in taking these forward, aiming for publication in the autumn. Uh, and again, I thank the ombudsman for their uh, support and their uh, uh, working, positive working attitude in uh, bringing this forward jointly. In terms of organized crime, uh, your report, Chief, this month uh, covers progress and activities against uh, tackling serious and organized criminality and paramilitary activity. Some really positive uh, results in your report, and we commend all who've been involved in achieving those. The police have to keep uh, uh, at it as these criminal activities are causing serious damage in our community. And the board fully supports the recent move by the Justice Minister to increase power for police in this area. <clears throat> we hope this will assist your work and the board looks forward to hearing about changes arising from the Serious and Organised Crime Review Commission. <clears throat> your investigation teams have also been busy over the last weeks. The murder in the heart of West Belfast with alleged links to organised criminality has caused uh, concern and communities are looking for reassurance and arrests around this. Budget, uh, again, always a, a thorny issue, but uh, Chief, it's been a year since your appointment and a lot has happened uh, in that time. Uh, there are undoubtedly much focus on moving forward in terms of modernization, transformation and digital projects. And we, we support you in, in pressing uh, ahead with all of those. Central to that is of course the budget available. And as you're aware, the 2021 resources plan has been subject to significant scrutiny at the board over the last few months. The board has today agreed to approve the budget for 2021. And uh, it's not a good starting point, however, with a deficit of almost 20 million recognized. The board is committed to the implementation of neighborhood policing model and the additional 400 officers required and will therefore not support any reduction or indeed suspension of police officer recruitment, police officer recruitment uh, in order to meet the budget pressures that exist. As a board, we will support you in seeking to obtain the additional funding required and not yet agreed in respect of the EU exit, fresh start, and to deliver the commitments made towards 7,500 officers. As you will be proceeding at significant risks, I will be writing to the Justice Minister to advise of the board's decision and seek her support in respect of addressing the range of unfunded pressures that have been identified. 
So, Chief Constable, having said that, we will take introductory comments from you and then questions to follow.